Oh wow. That's a lot of boxes to unbox, man. Holy oh, smokes, this is gonna be a crazy video. Oh my god, this is awesome, man. Who says Christmas stuff comes to you? <laughs> you guys are gonna be psyched. Okay, people, I got a special unboxing here today. It's kind of a large unboxing. They're backing in right now. We got a call from the good folks at Fluker Farms, and they love what we're doing with the channel. They love the educational aspect of it, and they wanted to help out. And as you're gonna see, they're giving me, this is the first of many uh, shipments to come, and I think you guys are gonna be psyched because I'm not gonna be able to use all this stuff. There goes some trees, but that's okay. You got it, bud, keep coming. Kind of angle up towards the driveway. So anyway, uh, these good folks are going to be dropping this stuff off. This is the first of many product that'll be dropped off. Now, why are you excited? Why do you think you guys care? I guarantee I'm not going to be able to use all this stuff. So Tom and I decided, along with the people at Fluker, that we're going to share it with you guys because you guys are reptile lovers and Fluker makes a wide variety of product for all kinds of reptiles. And I think when you see the size of this first shipment, you're going to be pumped. All right, let's see what's going on. Hey, what's up, dude? I guess you got a uh, drop gate. Yeah. Are you on it, um... Can you get it onto the uh, yeah, pad? Let me, let me back it up more. Let me, I could pull the truck out. All right, so anyway, guys, I'm really excited, man. I mean, this is so cool. It was one of the things that I wanted to have happen uh, when I started the channel. When you get sponsored, it's basically... Oh, hold on. Okay, a little muse. When you get sponsored, it's, um, it's a real big help, uh, especially when they sponsor you with product because as you guys know, this stuff costs money. And I do a lot of work here at the farm. As you can see, there's some tortoises sleeping right there. But uh, yeah, man, let's see what we got. I made a big order. Uh, so I'll show you what I got. And then I'm going to share it with the viewers uh, of the channel. So you guys will be pretty pumped. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Amazing. Oh, wow. That's a lot of, that's a lot of boxes to unbox, man. Yeah. Holy smokes, this is going to be a crazy video. Uh, I basically went crazy on the website. They said, Kenan, pick out what you need. We'll get your shipment set out. And, um, you know, I also thought of you guys. What do you guys need? I know that you guys have a lot of bearded dragons out there, a lot of leopard geckos. Uh, Fluker, they actually have uh, an amazing facility in Louisiana that Tom and I are going to go visit. And we're going to see how they come up with all their product. We're going to see how they raise their crickets and mealworms and all kinds of prey items for uh, reptiles and the bait industry um, but you can see kind of some of the stuff look at this tortoise buffet blend they've got a, a lot of really cool um they got a, a lot of really cool product can we get it in thank you so much man yeah this is awesome holy smokes guys here let me give you a hand brother oh that's awesome very cool thank you so much man uh, i can do that hang tight people all right dudes all right, man. Off. I guess we should get we should get with some of the unboxings, huh? <laughs> you guys are gonna be psyched. Let's get a light on, and uh, we'll see. Can you believe this? I mean, Fluker is no joke. Fluker is no joke. So here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna set you guys up on the tripod, and I'm gonna get to work unboxing and showing you some of the product um, that's gonna make my life easier, make your lives easier. And uh, Tom and I have been figuring out what, how should we make sure the right people get this product, you know? So probably once a week, or maybe once a week, uh, we're going to pick some of the comments, some of the people from the comments, and uh, we're going to just start giving away product uh, for those guys out there. So definitely watch the channel because we are going to be going crazy with the giveaways, man. Let's see if I can get this stuff done. Bear with me, got a box opener right here. Not the prettiest of backgrounds, I apologize, but uh, it's all about what we got here today. So this is awesome. So yeah, I was really, really excited that Fluker contacted us. Um, it's just a huge honor when a company that's so well respected as Fluker, uh, that's been involved in herp, herps and the herp industry for so very long, uh, appreciates what we're doing on the channel, guys. It just really means a lot to Tom and myself. And uh, let's see, man, what do we got? First things first, we're gonna open this stuff up. I just wanna see 
what all we got. So I asked for a little bit of everything to give a good representation of what they make and what we can use. All right, so here's first things first, check it. So we've got their mini domes, okay? Mini sun dome. Uh, these are really fantastic. They'll hold fluorescent lights, heat lamps, red heat lamps. They make all the different bulbs for this stuff. So if you guys live up north and you need to keep your reptiles warm, this is certainly going to help. So we got four of these in this box. So cool. Oh my God, this is awesome, man. Who says Christmas comes once a year? All right, let's see what we got here. It's pretty light, pretty light. Okay, we're going to open it up. Oh my gosh. I mean, just how generous are the folks at Fluker to do this for me? Okay, cool. Check it out. We're going to do a whole video on this down the road. But, uh, well, this is actually not what I thought. I thought it was UVB lighting, but check it out. It's uh, some bamboo bars that you guys can decorate your cages with, give the animals a place to perch on, uh, and it just pretty much slide out and lock into any terrarium, and it just adds a little bit of a rustic look. You guys know how I love bamboo. So we've got a bunch of these. We ordered four of these to help out people, help dress up your reptile enclosures and terrariums. Super, super exciting. Oh, we got some Spanish moss. Okay, I'll be sending this out and decorating some of my uh, habitats with it. You guys may have already seen it. So we got Spanish moss there we can send out. So cool. Maybe we'll even send some to our friend Tanner Serpa and see what he comes up with. That guy's super talented. Love to see what he built. Uh, we've also got their Repticow stuff. Let's see if that's the right term. Calcium, flukers, calcium phosphate. We got a bunch of these. All right, I'll probably be keeping some of those for my animals, just give them an extra boost of calcium. So we got some calcium for them, and I'm thinking this is probably some of their vitamin. Let's see. Yep, yeah, reptile vitamin. Huh? How cool is this? This could be shipped off to one of you guys. Very cool, man. Maybe I'll even ship off more than once. Maybe we'll ask questions, and if you guys, the first comment that gets the right answer, just email me your uh, address and we'll ship you out a nice care package from Fluker. Uh, very cool. I got a lot to do. This is a crazy unboxing, man. This is insanity. What do we got? Oh, this is cool, man. Check it out. These bendy branches. All right. So you can dress up your, uh, again, your terrariums uh, for chameleons, small iguanas, rhino iguanas, anything that's going to be young and climbing. Uh, they're going to like that or a reptile that stays small. So this is cool. You guys know how I like to dress up the... Uh, places the animals live, and I wanted to use all this product. Let's open a big box. Let's see what this big box is all about. All right, holy smokes. Oh, what an exciting day here at the camp. Of course, I'm doing a lot of work. I'm doing a lot of work, check this out. These will come in handy, people. These will come in handy. Sun domes, the large ones that'll hold the higher wattage lights, so that's awesome. Very, very cool. All right. We're still going. We are still going. Holy smokes. What an incredible honor. All right. These, they're clamp lamps. Uh, these Fluker's clamp lamp, they have a dimmer on them so you can dim the lighting uh, if you don't want it to be too intense. So that's pretty neat as well. So we got those. I know some of you guys are going to need some of those. So we got them. We got them, folks. Let's see what this is all. Oh, this feels heavy. What could this be? Oh, wow. Oh, these are really cool. Check it out. They're caves. We got some really cool caves. This will be great for small tortoises, leopard geckos, uh, maybe one baby rhino iguana, somebody that wants to hang out. And the other cool thing is you could set one up in a hot area and it'll also hold the heat. So these are really cool happy caves and uh, they look really natural. And that's neat. Very good. It's a very heavy item. Oh my gosh. And I like that because it's, it's actually heavy, which means the animal can't knock it over. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, here's another natural cave. So these are nine inches. Let's see what the nine inch ones look like. Uh, they might be the same, I'm not sure. So let's see. 
Oh, this is kind of cool. It's a different design. See that? That's pretty rad. All right, so we've got two styles of their caves. Boy, Kate's gonna not know what happens in here. Thank gosh, this is one of the only rooms that she doesn't mind gets messy because it's my job to clean it. All right, all right, what do we got? Okay, check out this. This is a must if you guys have indoor reptiles, the Fluker Sunspot. Uh, this will provide heat, UVB. Uh, it is a very, very uh, powerful bulb. Um, so uh, definitely look at it. It's heat and UVB in one bulb. Uh, so very important for those desert reptiles, large monitors, animals that love to bask. You see they have a Euromastix right there on the, on the uh, packaging to let you know that this is for an animal that loves to sunbathe. Okay. Woo! Yeah, let's get another big box, shall we? Like I said, I, I tried to order things that I thought many of you guys would need. Um, and could use. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I, I think I'm going to keep this, people. I'm going to take you guys down. I can't really take it. Oh, look at this. We got all kinds of cool driftwood, man. This stuff they sell, uh, it's really cool, but we will definitely give some of this away to you folks. Now, for me, I love this because I'm gonna use it uh, for some of the enclosures that I built. So, really excited about that. Uh, I, I don't know, isn't it funny I get excited over driftwood? What's wrong with me? Probably a lot, but uh, if you're a reptile person, you probably feel the same way. So, Fluker's got driftwood. I cannot wait to go to their facility and see how they do everything. I'm sure I'm gonna learn a lot. And of course, we're gonna make sure that you guys tag along. We got ceramic heat emitters. Uh, uh, for those of you who don't know what they are, I'll show you. Really good stuff. Yeah, see, so basically these are non-light emitting heat source. Uh, very simple. I love to use these in some of my hide boxes, which is very important uh, when we have some kind of weather event where temperatures drop. What else is this? What else is this? What is this? Oh my gosh. Holy smokes! <laughs> now this is awesome. Okay, so check this out. Oh. Now guys, normally you get this in some different packaging, but this is their tortoise buffet. This stuff is great. They sent me samples of it, and I said it's great. The tortoises love it. It's brightly colored, made of all natural ingredients. You can check it out on their website. Um, basically, what I like about the bright colors is it gets young tortoises to eat a lot quicker. Uh, it smells good. It smells very fruity, uh, and they have uh, different blends of this stuff. So they are actually uh, very knowledgeable when it comes to their diet. So this is a massive amount, so I'm excited about this because the tortoises are going to be getting some of this for sure. Holy smokes. The other cool thing is that my herbivorous reptiles love it as, too, love it as well. My, uh, my Solomon Island skinks and my Cyclora lizards are also eating it, so very excited about that. And remember guys, uh, it's just, it's a great thing to have on hand if you don't have any fresh food available. Uh, Fluker and myself, we always recommend that you guys make sure you're feeding a varied diet. No one thing is gonna take care of all their nutritional needs. So it's very important to make sure you guys are uh, spreading it around. And you know what I'm saying? Variety, it's the spice of life. Let's see what we got here. What we got here? All right, we got some basking spot lamps. This is gonna come in handy for those of you guys who have turtles uh, and other reptiles. Uh, this is a halogen, so there you go. It's a spot lamp. It's gonna be similar to the, um, the sunspot, okay, the, the mercury vapor, in that this is going to be providing uh, heat. Now, um, not 100% sure, I don't, yeah, it does have uh, UVA output as well. So you're getting both uh, benefits. Uh, very important if you guys live up north. All right, very, very cool. So we got those. Gosh. This is totally a uh, dream come true. This is neat. These are cool. Uh, these are some water bowls. I wanted some more naturalistic looking water bowls. Uh, they're shallow, which I like for uh, some of our tortoises. Uh, and the lizards are gonna be drinking out of this. I'm gonna decorate the outdoor enclosures uh, with some extra water bowls and stuff like that. And I'm probably gonna be sending some out to you guys as well. Don't worry, 
I am here to share with you. That's what makes me excited. If I can help some of you out there uh, who are just getting started, or maybe you guys have been working with reptiles a long time, and uh, you need a little extra help, Camp Kennan and Fluker are here for you. Okay, we've got basking bulbs. Okay, more basking bulbs. Uh, can never have too many basking bulbs. So many people ask about UVB lighting. I thought this would be very important to make sure I had these on hand. Here's something I'm excited about. This is what I'm gonna be using. Uh, I'm building new Cyclora enclosures, guys. So I got these because I'm gonna use these. Uh, and this is their Deluxe Heat Max, okay? These go either on the side of the terrarium or underneath the terrarium. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take these and get them glued to the bottom of the hide boxes, okay? Up off the ground though, I don't want these to get submerged in water, but I'm gonna glue them and then I'm gonna glue some foam on top of this so it's well insulated. So this will insulate a good portion of the bottom of the hide boxes. Of course, I'm gonna have a video showing you guys all about this, but we got a bunch of these as well. Uh, very excited that these showed up. I need these very much, very important for the reptiles, being that we are in the South Florida winter. Although, to be honest, it's been 86 degrees every day. Happy about that. Okay, here's some great stuff. This is some bedding. It's the coconut fiber bedding. Uh, this is the loose coconut fiber, and this stuff is just great. You mix it in with some organic potting soil, as long as that soil doesn't have any of those little styrofoam balls. So, very cool. Okay. We're getting there, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Still got some boxes to mess with. Okay, we got the castle crib. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see what the good old castle crib looks like. I don't know, maybe I'm a lunatic, but this is really exciting for me. Oh, this is really unique. This is very cool. This was a cool design. So here's the castle crib, right? It's a water bowl on top, but it's also a hide because as you guys know, some of these water bowls, they have a lot of space. So I like this. This is gonna be good for some of your lizards, okay? Leopard geckos, small beardies, uh, juvenile animals. A Little bit difficult for tortoises. Uh, they do have a nice ramp here, but it's a very deep bowl. So if it's for tortoises, I wouldn't use it, but for leopard geckos or any of the other animals I mentioned, any lizards uh, would love this. And it's a cool way to have water and a hide all in one. So that, <clears throat> that's cool. I got some dust in my throat. Youch. Now my voice is gonna sound a little funny for the rest of the video. Okay, let's keep going. Here we go. Ha! <laughs> we got medium half logs. You guys know what they are, right? Little, just half, half logs. All right, all right, all right, don't yell. I'll show you, because you guys might not have seen it. I want you guys to see, these are smaller. These are the small, they're calling a medium, but you guys have seen these. Very simple, good for tortoises to hide on. Good for lizards to hang out in. And there's a lot, look at this mess I'm making. Sweet. All right, what's this? What's this, what's this? Hmm. Check it out. This is awesome, guys. You need to check this out. And I'm gonna do a whole video, um, I'm gonna do a video on tortoise diet again. Now this is a new diet that these guys have come up with at Fluker. It's called Crafted Cuisine. I am a fan of this. It's actually moist. Um, it's a it's a moist blend, uh, so you it's it's got to be refrigerated after you open it. But when I put it out for my tortoises and my rhino iguanas, they absolutely went insane for it. Uh, read the, read what's in back. It's got a lot of great uh, Timothy hay. Uh, it's got dried kale. It's got uh, red bell pepper. It's got all kinds of natural. Um, uh, sweet potato, it's got a lot of really good stuff. And I was talking about variety. Uh, this certainly has variety. Um, so all natural ingredients, check it out. It's called Crafted Cuisine Tortoise Diet. Really pumped on this stuff. Uh, because so many times when we use the different chows, they're dehydrated. Uh, you can rehydrate them if you want, but this is cool because it comes uh, with moisture in it. So you know the tortoises, especially when they're young, are gonna be getting that moisture. Uh, so there you go. All right, Crafted Cuisine. Oh, I got a bunch of that. <clears throat> a bunch of Crafted Cuisine, uh, which is great. So I'm gonna just move those down. Uh, this is a medium reptile bowl. Let's see this. Let's see what a medium reptile bowl looks like. Cool. 
Again, another shallow bowl, very cool if you have a larger tortoise, maybe a medium-sized tortoise, he can get his head in there. Might be a little difficult for him to soak, but again, good for reptiles, natural looking design, easy to clean on the inside because it's smooth. Uh, very good, very, very good. Who's this? Oh, this is heavy, man. Holy, oh, I know why it's heavy. I needed this. Ah, we got some sand from Bearded Dragons. We're gonna be doing a, a Bearded Dragon build for my nephew. So we got some of that, and you guys will be happy to know that I'll be getting some out to you, more sand. I'll be using it in many different applications. So that's all sand, I'm pretty sure. Yep, all of that is the Repti sand there, that, that Fluker's, uh, the medium sand. It's a natural bedding, so that's very good. All right, uh, okay, uh, next. next. The final box, what's in it? The final box, cool, very cool. All right, so here is the Reptibark. I love this stuff. Again, mix it with the cocoa fiber, mix it with potting soil, and you've got a nice forest floor that's gonna look really, really good. Okay, hey, pretty good. Okay, people, can you believe this? What an amazing and generous sponsorship from Fluker, thanks guys, I appreciate it. But again, guys, it's not just gonna benefit me, it's gonna benefit you guys. And more importantly, it's gonna benefit all of our animals. We love to share things. I'm so excited, so happy the channel's been growing, that you guys enjoy it. I love when you come back and comment and, and just seeing what I'm up to here. In fact, I stopped building today because I had to meet the truck driver to get all this stuff. So I just thought, let's do a video, show you guys what's going on. Um, super pumped. You can rest assured some of those products are gonna be used in my new enclosures. Uh, but it's all about these guys, right? It's all about our animals and keeping them happy and healthy. And even if you guys start with smaller animals, it's okay, we've got you covered, man. You gotta start somewhere, the leopard gecko, those bearded dragons, all of these animals, crested geckos, they're all fantastic and they're all amazing. And they have unique personalities and unique uh, habitat requirements and dietary needs. And as we go forth in this year, I'm gonna be showing you all the things that Fluker does to formulate, figure out all these different diets. So it's gonna be a really fun time. Hope you guys will enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was just a lot of opening things, but hey, by the way, there's Lumpy. Lumpy ain't got a problem in the world anymore, does he? All right, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you so very much. And we're going to be giving back. So keep watching the channel. I may just call out a name. I might need you to send me an address because you're going to get some really cool fluker stuff for this year. Keep watching, Camp Cannon. I'll see you guys soon. Lumpy says, uh, please let me alone. And we're going to do that. See ya.